Welcome to the Lutheran Church by the Lake as we continue our Lenten theme of Kiss, Worry, Goodbye. Today we are privileged to have Don with us as he uh, shares with us being able to let go of some anxiety concerning his cons uh, thoughts about uh, some family members. Whoops. Thank you, sir. Um, when my older son, Josh, uh, graduated from college, this was late 90s, he just got his first job. He was all excited about this new life, and then he developed Crohn's disease and uh, didn't really know anything about it at the time, but it was, it's, it was uh, a nasty disease for him, and it kept attacking him and attacking him. I didn't know what to do. You know, Daddy always fixed everything before. Well, he was living in Toledo. He had had several operations, and uh, his doctor wanted to get him on Remicade, which is a drip procedure, two or three hours long. So I was driving up to Toledo to sit with him during this time, and I was praying like crazy, uh, to the point I had tears. And I just didn't know what to do, and all of a sudden I had this proverbial rush, wow. like a warm blanket wrapped around me. And a voice basically said, relax, Don, I'm in charge. I've got this. So I went on up and I sat with him and uh, it was a great time, just the two of us talking and, and kind of reaffirming what was going on. Well, I came back home and within the next few days I was rereading Matthew chapter six, verse 34, hit me. Now do not be anxious for tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself, so let the day's own troubles be sufficient for that day. And from that point on, I just, why am I worrying? You know, why am I doing all this? If it's in God's hands, I can certainly trust him. You know, but uh, as it went on, he had several other operations to the point where he lost his entire large intestine. And he moved to Seattle and through the grace of God, he's, he's a doctor out there. He has no ill feelings with her, no uh, reaction with Crohn's. He controls everything by diet. He's back to 170 pounds. He's doing extremely well. And uh, I just thank God for all that. It, and it kind of reminds me of a saying some time ago, and I'm sure you've heard it, that let go, let God. And so I let go of my anxieties, let God have it. He can handle a lot better than I can. You know? Thank so, you, Don, for sharing it. What a powerful account of uh, uh, God's presence in the time of uh, personal concern. And as an expression of our, our uh, support, uh, we're going to give you a, a chocolate kiss and a chocolate hug. So you get one of each. <laughs> Very good. And thank you all for being with us today.